Hey, what's up, guys? We're back with another Tinkercad tutorial. Okay, this is part nine. So if you will just, if you just got started with Tinkercad, check out my first couple parts, part one, two, three, kind of learn the basics. Then you can follow along. We're going to do all kinds of cool designs. So hit like and subscribe if you like this, and I will keep making more videos. Okay, today's project, we're going to hit create 3D design. Like always. Okay, as this loads, um, today's design is going to be a snake. So um, we're going to have movable joints in it. So this will be your first first tutorial with movable parts. So I don't know why my computer's being so slow, but I'll just keep talking. So we're going to do kind of we won't do a lot of details as far as like scales and you know re realism or nothing. But I'll make sure we get the joints to work. And it'll be so cool. It'll just print it all at once, already locked together. And then we'll get some good motion. Okay, we're ready with our blank template here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a segment of his body that can link together with other segments. So we're just going to make one segment, and then we can just copy and paste it, basically. So we got to spend a little time making one of these segments, and... After that, it should be pretty easy, maybe. I've actually never made a snake. I've made other movable joints, though, like lizard legs and a few different lizards. So this will be a first-time snake. So let's just start with a cylinder. I'm kind of squishing it down a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll put it in like this. Let's make it a little bigger. This is going to be too hard to work with. Let's double it, so 40 by 40. There we go. Stretch this up a little bit because now it's flat. Uh, let's see. Hey, we'll just do that for now. Okay. Uh, is that how a snake sits? Sure. That's good. Okay. Um, I want to cut in. I want to cut in like a concave surface. So let's make this. Um, let's make a big old ball. We'll flatten it a little bit. A sphere, I should say. Uh, the step thing will uh, is how many uh, angles are on the, the sphere. So now it's as smooth as it can be. Uh, so let's kind of line this up and see. So basically, I'm trying to make a, yeah, like this. I'm trying to make this indented. Let's turn our motion down to 0.1 millimeter so I can move it really precise, see? Yeah, so I'm just kind of uh, trying to make a little cut like this. Uh, let's see. I don't want it to be... Let me check something. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, let me make sure. Let's line it up. We always use our align tool. So hit the align tool and hit this circle, and that'll align it on this plane. Okay, uh, I like that. I think we're okay. So let's combine that. And... Yeah, I don't know if my internet died or something, but uh, it's going a little slower than normal. If it still has this red rim around it, ring, that means it's still processing. So this is just an online program. So if my internet is puking out, then the program doesn't work very well either. Okay, we'll get our next shape ready while that's thinking. So we're going to attach these with rings. So we're going to have kind of links like these rings are going to lock together there we go okay that's that's good it's fine um so let's tip one of these rings up and get it into place we're gonna i'm trying to we'll have to do this a little fast uh and not a lot of detail or this will be too long of a video so let's just oops that was a little too far up of course okay let's just put this ring in here and I like to make them a little wider because I want them sturdy. 
Um, let's see. Mm, I'd like to have it nice and sturdy like that. Hopefully we can get it to work like that. Um, let's tilt it out a little bit. It'll make it easier to connect the other one because we got to connect another ring to this. Uh, let's select both items and align them with the align tool. There we go. So let's see. We got to make sure we have a good connection here. This is going to be cut off right here. So that's, we're going to have to come up. I don't want that to be cut off so crazy. We're going to have to set back in here a little bit, but that's good. We want it kind of hidden back in there because that was the whole point of making this concave in so we can kind of hide this. Yeah, we can kind of hide this ring. Yeah, that's perfect. I really like that. Okay, so let's actually grab another ring. I kind of want to just copy this one. Or is that going to be too goofy? You know, oh, that might be too weird. Let's, hmm. Nope. We're going to start over with a new ring. Okay, let's grab a ring. We'll get the sides. <laughs> what? Went down. Okay, the sides, 24 sides. So it makes it smooth. Um, we'll also make this one kind of wider. And, well, we'll see how this one does. Okay, let's tip it up. Oh, actually, well, not that way. This way. So basically, we'll, we want to tip it up, but we, we, we want it at an angle that the printer can print it without supports. So see how these, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to have this tilted too far down like this. Because see, there'll be angles that the printer won't be able to print. So when you link stuff like this, you want to link it so it can print it. So let's see if we can put these together so they're not touching. Because otherwise they'll print stuck together. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go a little wider on this because it was... Uh... Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. This would be beefy if we could do it like this. Oh, this is dipping way too far below the the deal, though. We can come up. Okay, let's make this skinnier. So I don't think it had to be that skinny. Um, let's do 2.2 over here. Okay. Uh, but still... Don't worry, it'll it'll go it'll start moving faster once we um, once we have one of these done, then we'll be okay. You know what? Let's turn let's turn this one see through so we can kind of see what we're doing. See? All right, uh, it's not awful. Uh, yeah, this is actually okay. Yeah, I'm happy with this. So see, it's not touching. It's going through this ring, but nothing's touching. And we could turn this one back solid. And you see, it's going to print like that. And so once we take it off the print bed, that's going to be able to move. So basically, all we really have to do then, let's group, let's group th this and this, these two objects together, but not the front one. I mean, not this one. So let's just group these two. Hopefully the uh, internet will speed up because once we make a lot of these segments, it's going to be really a lot of processing for the computer. Okay, so watch this. Let's, hopefully this will work and make sense. So let's duplicate it. Oh gosh, it's moving slow. Uh, okay, because I have it set to point 0.1. Let me go back to 1. Okay. So let's see if this is going to work. 
So I wouldn't mind if this was dented in a little bit. Um, it would look better too. Okay. So let's actually delete that. And we're going to do a slight indent back here on the whole thing. Like, yeah. So you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this really big ball. Smash it down a little bit. Make it a hole. Put the steps up. Uh, I'm going to make it really wide. Hopefully I'm not going too crazy and fast. Uh, align it. Because you'll see, oopsies, undo button is my friend. Okay, let's move this down. I'm just trying to make a little indent. So see? Yeah. Okay, let's make this a little taller. There. Yeah, just like this. So let's select this and group. You'll see once it's done processing. See, there we go. We got a nice little curved indent. Yeah, that's nice. So see, that's going to fit nicer uh, when we come back here. Okay, I thought our ring disappeared. We don't want to do that again. Okay, so now... Okay, yep, 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 yep. We're good. So now let's hit duplicate and slide it over. Oh, I hope it... Oh, yeah, this is better. Oh yeah, see, it's t it's it's good there, and we'll actually move it as close as we can. Well, it doesn't have to be too close. Oh, we can even go closer. The snake's body is gonna be gonna fit really cool. That's actually too close. The snake won't be able to move. Um, wow, this actually might work out really good. Holy cow! And then what we're gonna do actually is. Make this one slightly smaller. Okay, let me think of the easiest way to do this now. Okay. Okay, I got an idea. Yes, yes, I got an idea. Okay, we're going to ungroup this one. This was just our starter thing. We're going to ungroup it because what we're going to do is... Oh, we got to ungroup again. Bear with me, guys. Come on. What we're going to do, this is our keeper piece back here. So watch. We're going to group it together. Yeah, I think this is the smart way to do it. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's let's we're about to find out. There. This is the piece we want. Cause every time we Oh, we didn't want that back part though. Okay, let me get rid of that. We basically just want this link, but we don't want this back one on here. Let me get rid of it. I'll eventually be able to. I'm just keep going back. I'm ungrouping, ungrouping, ungrouping. There. So see now it's the that it's selected. Trash. Now we will uh, group these back. Oh gosh, this one's gonna be comfy. Oh what? This one's gonna be confusing, isn't it? Okay, I just snipped off of our thing, so we didn't. I did not want to do that. So I have to first just select these two group. There. Now I can select everything. Oh gosh, this is going to be a little too. This is not very beginnery, is it? Oh god. Okay, group. Maybe the rest will get easier now. Okay, so we have our one beautiful segment. Uh, this one, delete, just in case we need this one, let's, let's keep it over here. Okay, so look, this is what we built. 
let's see how easy it links together. So let's let's create one. Uh, let's duplicate and move it back. But the snake is body has got to get slimmer. So let's make it a little bit smaller. And the computer will remember, when I hit duplicate again, the computer will remember that motion and it'll make the next one a little bit smaller. So let's just try it and see what happens. Okay. Yeah, so watch this. This is when it might get easier. Uh, watch this, if I hit duplicate, see? It's, it's, it's just doing it. They got to get smaller faster than that, though. Um, okay. So let's go back. Okay. Let's make sure there's only one. I'm starting over. Let's put it over here. Okay. Duplicate. And move back. But we want it to get a pretty lot smaller because that one is not getting smaller, small fast enough. So let's make this a lot smaller. Uh, how about like that? And do we need to raise it up a little? I'm sure. Let's just try that. So I'm going to hit duplicate again and watch. It'll copy that same pattern. See, there we go. That's what I wanted to happen. Let me zoom out. And let's do some more. Boop, 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 boop. Look at snake. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine if all of them linked that easily? Let's see how they look. I mean, I have a long printer, but see, we, we could have made this curled. We might actually have to do that. Um, but... Oh, wow, that's cool. Do you think all these are linked good? Let's take a look at one. Oh, looks fine. The very tail will probably just do like a long piece. Like a... I wonder if I should make this curled so we can... Otherwise, I could put it on my big printer. And then for the rest of the snake... What would we do? We would do the opposite. We would just go down. Let me just see what we do. Select one. I guess we'll just make a straight snake and just see what see if we can finish it here. Uh, duplicate. So I guess we do the same thing, but go the other way. Maybe go down a little quicker or uh, smaller quicker. So let's do this. Oh, gosh, not that small. Okay, uh, let's see what it does here. Wow, this is pretty cool. So we're, we have, this is all linked together. So this would be a movable object. We just need to make his head now. Um, I guess I could just, just to save time, I could print him on my, I could print him on my big printer just from corner to corner and it might work, but you'd want to print them, you know, as big as possible. So these joints function, you know, um, so should, we should turn, we should turn one of these pieces then into a head. So let's just make a makeshift head really fast. Because this has already been... Oh, yeah, we're at 20 minutes. That's not too bad. Wow, I didn't know we were going to pull this off. Let's just make some kind of a... We're going to make a snake head. Hey, that's already not awful. Okay, let's line this part up. That will be so funny if we do this so easily. I just want to see how well them joints move and stuff. Wouldn't that be neat? <laughs> that is not his eyeball. Um, let's see. What I was going to do is maybe... I was going to maybe have part of his... 
kind of have his head come out a little bit. Let's see. Like a little cheek. Um, let me see here. Oh my gosh, what, what was that all about? Work with me for a second. Um, let's see. Come on now. Okay. And duplicate. Okay. Go fast, do fast stuff. Okay. That's good. How about um, we just need some little eye, little eye things. Um, what should we do for an easy eye? Um, we need an easy eyeball. Make a duplicate of that. Um, make it a hole. I'm trying to just cut like a little sliver shape. Um, just give me a moment. I'll get it. There. Okay. Combine. Okay, and then I was thinking we could just cut like a little, I don't know, a little eye slot in here. Oh, hey, maybe that'll just be cool. Oh, I wish it, oh, I know how we can do. Uh, just make it a little thicker and move it in. Guess it's too big. Continue to futz with it. There, that's okay for now, right? So just bring it on over. Okay, that's okay for a little snake eyes, right? He looks like a little sleepy snake. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, let's quick do a tail of some sort. Um, wow, this is long. <laughs> oh dear, is this going to print? If I had more time, I would coil it. If I have to, because see, you could, make, you could move each joint a little bit and probably make it into the shape of a coil depending if these gaps are far enough apart. Um, let's just quick add a cone tail. Wow, what? Where'd it go? We're off the map, so it's a little weird. Okay, let's grab... What do we all got for... Let's grab... Can I even set this down here? Let me just see if I can quick make him a little cone tail. Why does it look like it's not? Oh, it's just my imagination. Okay, we need it smaller. And a little longer. Let's do this so we can see what's happening. Okay, we're going to line it up. This is hard to do fast because, oh, okay, I don't want it to move. So let's click this one first there. Okay. Okay. We just need this to kind of match up. So we got to make it smaller. Will it stay lined up if I do it this way? Is this getting smaller? 
Oh, that was holding shift. Oh. Yeah. Should have worked. Sorry, I'm just kind of mumbling to myself. Okay. Squat this down a little bit. Is that, I mean, it's definitely not perfect. <laughs> Should we see what it looks like here? Solid blue. Uh, you know what? For right now, that's good enough. He's got a tail. Look, at, we're so far off the map that I'm lost. Uh-oh, I got us lost. Okay. <laughs> hey, I think we might have done it. We could get rid of this piece. Oh, my gosh. Dude, if this thing moves, nice. The only thing I'm worried about is if these gaps, if these gaps are too close, it won't have as much motion. But it looks, it's always good to try to get, I've never had gaps so small, and that's usually hard to do. So that means we did something pretty cool and tricky to have this close together objects that can still move. So I say I'm going to print it just like this. So I'm going to have to print it on my big printer, and hopefully the joints are big enough that they function. Otherwise, I'll have to come back up on here and I'll try to move these joints one at a time and position the snake in a coil so I can print it a little bigger. Oh my gosh, this one is a little making me a little nervous. I don't know if this one's going to work or not. So, all right, I'm going to go print this out and we'll get right back to you. Dude, it's done. Dude, it already looks cool. Uh, so I've been anticipating this. I actually let it print overnight and the printer clogged up and it failed. So it was only like half done. So I was hope I was going to wake up this morning to a nice finished snake. And I had to start over and print for another seven or eight hours. So it looks really good. Let me explain two things real quick. So after I turned off the camera when we were designing it, I actually realized that some of these segments were floating above the work plane. So they weren't touching anything, basically. So actually, I had a quick go through and one at a time, I adjusted each one up and down a little to make sure everyone was uh, touching, you know, touching the surface. So that's one thing. And then the only other thing that makes me nervous is I think all of this is going to work fine, but it gets really small here at the tail. So I don't know if these joints will hold up. They're probably going to be kind of delicate. So one thing we could have done is we could have just made this a solid tail like this long. And we would have got rid of some of these tiny little joints. So keep that in mind. Um, another thing is if we did have it coiled, we could have maybe made it bigger. And the bigger we make it, the bigger these joints will be. Okay, I'm so excited. Uh, let's see, everything's in my way. Uh, let me get closer over. Usually I just reach over and start breaking stuff. Um, Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's coming off easy. Oh, look already. Oh, my gosh. Did we just do something incredible? Oh, this one's stuck. Oh, don't break it, please. Look it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, let me do this. Let me see if I should do this uh, like this. Can you guys see? Wow, why am I so excited? Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me, guys. Okay, let's see if these little joints work. Oh, look, we already broke one. Oh, why did that one break? What? Let me see. That one might have just had a flaw in it or something. It's a short snake. It's a short-tailed snake. Look at that motion, though. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's pick it up. Let's figure out. Oh wow, it feels really cool. Let's see, am I staying in the video here? Oh, this is still fantastic. Oh, oh, he died. Let's put him upside down. Okay. Wow, that is so fun. I'm having so much fun playing with it. Let me figure out why it broke right here. It kind of looks like... Honestly, it it like did a print flaw. I'll add a picture, a close-up pi picture of this joint right now. 
Yeah, it's it actually like the printer printed that weird that that one joint is not printed correctly. Um, oh, geez. So that would have been fine. I almost want to reprint it. I probably will eventually, but I think I should just maybe make it shorter and have just a solid tail because dude, this whole part is awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to leave them like this for now. Yeah, I'm going to have to print another one of them for to, to keep. So, oh, so cool. All right. Well, I learned a lot. See, we the next time I could print it coiled and make it even bigger. So that's what I might do. I might coil it and print it bigger when I redo it. But I got so many projects that I want to do for you guys. So the printers will be busy. So, all right. Well, hey, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll just keep making more. All right. See you guys.